Hi everyone, welcome to the last part of our 2022 Christmas holiday vlogs. So we left Port Douglas and headed to the Daintree Rainforest and Cape Tribulation. To get there you have to get on a ferry and cross the Daintree River. And yes, there are crocodiles in the Daintree River. The road is a bit twisty and turny, and it's thick, lush green rainforest everywhere you look. We stayed in this eco lodge in the rainforest for two nights. This is the first time I'm actually staying in the rainforest. It's so cool. There's a walk behind our lodge and it took us down to the river. Look how beautiful it is. It is out of my mind. I just felt like I jumped into the story of the Jungle Book. Look over there. That's the natural swimming hole. And yes, I'm good at skimming a skimmer. There's a boardwalk along the river through the forest that takes us to the restaurant. Over there, there's another natural swimming hole. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and distress. We had dinner here for the both nights and the food was really good. We loved everything. And we spotted a snake right next to where we eat. How cool is this? I'm not really scared of wildlife like snakes. I mean, this is their home too. Just stay calm, don't upset them, and just make peace with the wildlife. The lodge gave us torches for night walks. We went for an adventure in the dark and we spotted some frogs and a giant snail. This is literally the size of my sister's fist. Fascinating. We spent a day exploring the Cape Tribulation area. So we heard this really loud croaking sound from the car park and we followed that sound and we spotted this. The giant green tree frogs. How many frogs can you spot there? On the other side of the pond, there's hundreds of these red crabs. They look like Eugene Crab in SpongeBob SquarePants. Cape Tribulation is beautiful, but you can't swim in the ocean here because there are saltwater crocodiles, stingers, sharks, and lots of other things. You don't want to put yourself in danger. So I looked up why this place was called Cape Tribulation. It's because when Captain Cook travelled all the way to Australia, his ship actually crashed here twice on the coral. I think Captain Cook is truly a lucky guy. He crashed here twice and made it back to shore without being eaten by crocodiles or sharks. What a lucky guy. This is the first time I've visited a tropical orchard. This is the first time I've seen a jackfruit tree with jackfruits hanging on it and banana trees with bananas on it. It's a whole new experience for me and I think it's very interesting.
so we tried their tropical fruit flavoured ice cream, but I'm not such a big fan of the jackfruit flavour. My mum and dad loved it though. We did three walks while we were in the rainforest. The first one is the Discovery Centre. You have to pay to get into this walk and the other two walks are just free. I love walking through thick rainforests. It's very mysterious. My mum's favourite part was all these roots and trees and twisty branches. And my favourite part, of course, are the wildlifes. According to my experience, yes, I have some experiences, the wildlife in the rainforests are very camouflaged. They hide themselves very well and it's a bit hard to spot. But if you look carefully, they're actually everywhere. For example, there are hundreds and thousands of crabs hiding in the mud area. So cool. Can you spot a stick insect? And another stick insect. And the golden orb spiders are just everywhere. I just love spotting wildlife. It's kind of scary and interesting and fascinating at the same time. We spotted this tiny nest. Must be a really cute tiny birdie lives in there. Thank you so much for following us along. We had a great holiday in the tropical north. The humidity is over the roof and I'm sweaty, but I love it. Bye bye North Queensland and We'll see you sometime soon.